Cocky as fuck, everything by me popping. Got face, I got body, you name it, I got it. Cocky as fuck, bitch, you know I'm conceited. Your hoe wanna be me, your nigga want eat it. Cocky as Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I know it's been a crazy while, but I am back. And, you know, um, I was gonna say, well, let's record a video and give you a life update because why not? Because I've been missing in action. So, let's decondition and get this update in all this tea that I have to spill, okay? The tea is exceptionally good today. <laughs> Who made this? Mmm, mm, very delicious. Hold on. Mmm. Mmm. Um, yeah, so let me start off by saying I missed filming. I missed it. I don't mean, I think the last video I did was. All the mixing the five eco stylers in one. Yeah, I kind of like that. I dig that sh stuff. I dig that. That actually worked out pretty good. But um, yeah, like my hair. <sighs> Let me get my deep conditioner. Hold on. First, first off, first off. Let me start by saying, we moved. I live in Texas now. What? Yes, when did that happen? <laughs> eons ago. Okay, not eons ago, it happened last month, like literally two weeks ago, but you know, you're just now finding out because I just decided to record. So, just moved, uh, moved to Texas from Germany. And let me tell you, baby, that my hair, it's, just, it's been it's been crazy, you know. My hair hated hated Germany. The weather, well, the water and the weather and the the just the just the overall being of Germany. My hair did not like it, and so it caused a lot of breakage. A lot of dryness and your girl's hair needs some TLC and it doesn't help the fact that I just you know I have not been taking care of my hair I am the biggest procrastinator ever and I'm just horrible I'm horrible when it comes to like when it was when I was in Germany. I was horrible with doing my hair. All I did was okay. Of course, I will wash it every week, but as soon as I washed it, I didn't do nothing with it. I just put it up in a ponytail, my little bun that I'm always doing. Or if I did do my hair, like in a wash and go, it would stay like that for a week or two. And then it would go back into a ponytail. So I wasn't like moisturizing my hair. I wasn't doing anything. And I was over it because the water was making my hair so dry and none of the products was that was working for me. Like it, it wasn't working. And yeah, so when I just washed my hair just now, my hair liked it. I'm going back to the let me rewind a little bit. Did you hear? Did you hear? That was my own line. <laughs> so I'm going back to the basics and I'm going back to using Shea Moisture, the um, coconut and hibiscus line. Cause that's what I first started off when I was using when I first went natural. So I'm gonna start off and do it again. And so I was using the shampoo and, and conditioner yesterday. My hair loved it, loved it. And I was like, oh my God, my hair is so soft. And I was at Sally's. Yeah. I finally get to try the hair mask. I get to try it. Do you know how happy I am to be able to try these products and you know not have to wait like an eon just to just to find out about new products or get to try them? So that's one thing. 
I'm excited for. Get my cape on. <sighs> yeah, so what's been going on with you guys, you know? I haven't talked to you guys in forever. I know it's like not many of you watch my videos, but hey, it's like I'm talking to myself. But you know, there's a few of you. I see you. I see you and thanks for clicking on my video again. You're so loyal. I love that about you. You smart. You loyal. You're grateful. I appreciate that. <sighs> but yeah, my hair is so horrible. Oh. I just need, I just want to cut it all off. Like, I just want to cut it off and start over now that I'm in an environment that I know my hair likes. And, you know, the water is not as harsh as it, as it was in Germany. I feel like I should just cut it off and start over. My hair grows fast, it grows fast. And, and I know I'm not gonna be allowed to do that. What else been happening in my life? Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm giving you this video to give you like, you know, my first impression on, on this product because I know I'm late. And did you know Sally's had a buy one, get one free at the store? And I think it doesn't end until the 8th, but by this time, by me putting them, um, when this video goes up, it'll be passed. Cause you know, I upload on Sundays, you know, but you know, I'm, I'm sorry for not telling you ahead of time, you know? I just found out myself because I went in there. My husband was like, um, you need hair products, right? So let's go get them. See, my hair just one just me by me going like this. They just it just comes out. Can you see it? You can't see it. But my hair literally is just coming out in chunks. Like I need a trim so bad. I need a shape bad. I just need everything bad. Like, what is life? What is life? Ugh. But back to what I was saying. Yeah, so my husband was like, you need some um, new hair products, right? Cause you don't have any. I was like, yeah, of course. And he was like, okay, well, let's go get some. Where you want to get it from? And I was like, let's go to Sally's. I didn't know, what, I didn't see what they had. Walmart here, let me tell you, has everything. They have a better selection than most Walmarts have. Like, I'm, I'm gonna insert a clip just to show you what all they have. Amazing, right? So, Target didn't have nothing. Like, they literally had the tiniest section for us. Let's call them, they call us ethnic because that's what they call us, you know, the ethnic clan. They didn't have nothing, nothing at all. But, you know, I'm, I'm gonna insert that clip too. nothing but that's besides the point so we went to sally's um i seen what they had and they had a good selection of products and i was like yes baby yes let me just slide on in here and i'm gonna just get my hair products from here and so he was like you only get a uh, hundred dollars i said okay cool cool a hundred dollars i can work with that so I'm looking at all the products and I'm over here, you know, just calculating and everything to see what I can get and what I can't get. And I just decided I was just gonna get the Shea Moisture line. And um, I got them 
and I was like, no, that's, that's only like $30 or something like that. I think it was $30. So I was like, let me see what else I can get. And so I looked, they had the Texture ID and I've been wanting to try Texture ID since it first came out and since I heard of it long, long time ago. So I got that and I was like, okay, so that should be about $80 right there. Bam, I'm set. So I get that and I'm like, okay, it should be $80. He's like, you don't want nothing else? I was like, no, I want to see how much this is first and whatever left of it, I can just go buy some oil because I need some oil for my hair. So I'm like, Phew. sorry, this thing, thick boy, thick boy. Um, so, I get up to the cash register, and I was like, okay, do to do do to do she's scanning it all up. And then all of a sudden she goes, it's gonna be $60.23. I'm like, her math ain't right, but I ain't gonna say nothing because <laughs> eight products for $60? Baby, <laughs> we in there, we in there. So I was like, pay the man, pay the lady, uh, babe, go ahead. Cause I ain't saying nothing about that price. So, um, I get my products, I get to the car, and I pull out the receipt, and I look at it, and I'm like, I want to get one free. If I would have known that, I would have just got some more. So, yeah, that's how I got my hair products. I know y'all didn't want to hear about that, but who cares? This thing thick. I hope this stuff is good. Uh, what else has been happening? I feel like my hair hasn't grown much. It hasn't grown at all because of the trim that I need so badly. And I, I really do. And now that I have my stuff, I can like, I can probably like send it to the dryer for my deep conditioner or I can even, um, what else? Oh, I could steam. So I don't figure, I don't know which one I'm gonna do. I'll figure that out once I get to that. But yeah, this thing thick. Oh my god. I might even trim my hair while I'm doing this. I'm pretty sure I'm missing on something I was supposed to talk to you guys about. I said I was gonna talk about something. I truly forgot. I had this all planned out yesterday. But what had happened was I decided I was I was started doing something else. I started unpacking when I was washing my hair. And I just stopped. I stopped doing it. And I, I do have some some video ideas that I want to want to do. Sorry, I'm looking at the the mirror behind me. And I don't know what what order I want to do them. I have been procrastinating so much. Like I said, like I haven't even um, I haven't even put up my my Paris vlog or my Milan vlog. Like I haven't, I haven't done none of that. Because first of all, I have my HP laptop instead of my Mac. And if you ever seen the quality of my videos when I was doing, when you know, editing on my Mac, I mean on my um, HP, horrible. Like it's horrible. But now that I have my, my um, my Mac computer now, I can go back to editing and like adding things to my videos that I know I can do. Like the picture and pic the video within video, picture and picture, just you know, the little things to help out, you know? So <laughs> that should be coming soon. But nobody told me in my Paris vlog I had a huge ass booger in my nose. So, 
don't come for me when you see that huge booger in my nose because I didn't know it was there. I'm over here supposed to be using my gloves and I don't even have my gloves on. I'm just rambling, just, just talking. Pretty sure most of this is gonna get edited out. But, um, so yeah, back to me moving here to Texas. I'm in a town where us little black girls don't have a place to get their hair done. So this is it's a small, small town and it's old school, like they're so outdated. Nothing has changed. Nothing has really changed since um, my husband graduated AIT from here. No, that was in 2013. Maybe it's 2018. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So when I was looking up stuff for like, if they had any like clubs, you know, for like spouses or something, that, um, things like hair braiding and everything and hair shops and stuff. I think there, there's only one and no shade, no tea. I braid hair better than them people and I'm pretty sure they got a license for it. So looks like I'm gonna continue doing my own hair. I might even think about doing um, like doing other people's natural hair because I was noticing a lot of people like there was a lady that um the little lady that was showing us the apartment complex you know she was like there's like no way or she has to drive three to four hours away just so she can go get her hair done and she was like uh, yeah go ahead and you know the, at least like help sisters out and I'm all for it helping people out and and doing hair but I ain't got no license and I ain't paying no $18,000 just to get a piece of paper to say I can do some hair legally that's doing too much so I mean, what I can do is just help them do it they're on their own, or I can, you know, I can just substitute or whatever. I don't know, help every now and then to do their hair. What I really want to get into is doing weaves. I want to do weaves. Like, I know I can do it, and I can make so much money on just doing weaves, but. <sighs> That's a different story for a different day. The longer my hair gets, the straighter my front gets, like, like it has no pattern. And I don't have heat damage at all. I just have different textures. And these different textures, I get on my nerves because I have to find different ways to style my front of my hair because right here I have 4C hair. Like right back right here in the front, I have 4C hair on each side. And then on the top, I have my, you could say 2A because all it does is just a little wavy wave and it's just straight. It doesn't have any elasticity, no nothing. So, I don't know what to do. What's my hair? Like I said, I'm just talking. I'm just rambling. Pretty sure most of this is gonna get cut out because who wants to hear all that? But if you guys have any, um, like any ideas or anything you want me to, products you want me to try out or any hairstyles you want me to see me fail at, let me know. 
Hit me up, DM me. Follow me on Snapchat. Um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on 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 my Facebook group because I need more people, more active people on my Facebook group. You know, um, lavishly textured because um, I don't think anybody has posted in there since 1942. And that is just not okay. Like I need my I need my group to get live with all these hair tips and everything. Okay, I'm done talking for right now. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of it and then I'll come back later. Maybe. Okay, so yeah. Um I think I'm gonna sit under the dryer. No, should I steam? Which one should I do? I'm gonna do both. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna sit under the dryer, the hooded dryer for 15 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to get under the steamer for another 15 minutes. And then wash it out, I guess. Yeah. So, oh, I forgot to tell you. So another reason why I was like not recording or anything or doing anything because I got sick. Like my whole throat got swollen, my tongue was swollen. I just couldn't talk, couldn't breathe, couldn't swallow my own spit without it hurting. Like I had all the signs and symptoms of strep, but I didn't have strep. Like, I, my throat is still swollen a little bit inside. It still has the little, the white pockets in there. Oh, Nancy. Sorry, I know that's TMI, but I didn't know what was wrong. Like, these last couple days, I've been feeling good. The doctor, and the doctors wouldn't help me get anything. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do nothing for me. That irritated my soul. But, um, yeah, I feel a little better now. Enough to talk, clearly. And, yeah, so I'll come back to you after I have done my steaming and deep conditioning to let you know how I feel about this product. It will add moisture to your hair. That thing is like so small, I can't even see. I can't read anyway, so. <sighs> Don't charge it to my heart, charge it to my head. <laughs> Is that what the old people say? Anyways, so I got my little plastic cap for my for my deep conditioning for the hoodie dryer. And after I've done with the hoodie dryer, I will take this off. So I'm back. And just rinsed it out. My hair felt so good with it on. Um, then I rinsed it out with cool water, cold water technically. I hate doing that. I don't think my hair responds well to cold water. I think it likes the, the warm water. Um, yeah, so I need to get back into that. I'm over here trying to like make a new intro an outro video lord bless my soul and help me because you know how long it took me to do this previous one it took me like i don't even know i don't know and all these youtube tutorials is like not helping at all but anyways this is how much hair so far we just washing that i lost shedding and I am pretty excited about that because when I was in Germany I lost a lot of hair like it was way bigger than that it would be everywhere it would be on the floor on the sink and this time like I don't have really much um breakage I had like two little strands right here from when I deconditioned and I'm excited for that, you know? That means my hair is like 
going back to what it was. But I'm done talking. I've been talking your ear off like 20 minutes. Plus my food is ready. And um, yeah, you should be seeing more videos now that I can actually have space to do it in time. I always had time, but I need to stop being a procrastinator, that's all. But you know, um, if you like my video, give it a thumbs up, you know. If you want to see more videos from me, give it a thumbs up and share it, you know. Tell people about me because we need to grow. We're at a standstill. So, anyways. And yeah, if you're new here, subscribe because you know I'm a cool person myself anyways okay bye see you in the next video